In this video, we are going to talk about the study part and the students' needs for guidance and counseling during their studies. Quite often, we think that the students' questions vary according to the study phase. Yes, we can say so that particularly at the beginning of studies, there are some questions which are typical for the first-year students. In research, a lot of attention has been paid for the meaning of the so-called first-year experience. First-year experience is connected to the transition to higher education and to the integration to the academic study community. The first-year experience seems to be very important for building up a personally meaningful and target-oriented study path. Research has shown that the dropout problems have often their roots in the early experiences of university studies. At the beginning of the studies, students have a lot of lot of questions about becoming a member of an academic and study community. We can say that the early stage of the studies is the process of negotiation, negotiating new kind of identity as a university student. No matter if you start your studies right after high school or have you been working for some years already, Always, it is a question of becoming a member of a new community and making sense of your own aspirations and needs to cope on, cope with this new situation. But basically, the questions which students have at the beginning of their studies are also connected to the future prospects, to the life after graduation, working life and employment. In our survey of university students' counseling experiences, about 90% of respondents said that they are concerned about working life issues and over 70% of first-year students reported to have at least some career concerns. So there are at least three kind of processes going on from the beginning of studies. And studi students need help, support and guidance and counseling to go on these processes. They need support to build up an identity of a higher education student. This needs might be the most relevant at the beginning of studies. But at the same time, students are developing their professional identity and building up skills and competencies for working life expertise, and they need support for this process too. Third process is probably the most obvious one for us teachers. There are a lot of needs for learning and studying in higher education, demands of academic skills to develop and create a basis for lifelong learning skills. Someone might think, why students nowadays seem to have more needs for guidance and counseling than earlier generation had? The answer is quite simple. This time is totally different. Career theorist Mark Savikas has been said that the world of work and careers in the 21st century leaves people feeling insecure and anxious. This insecurity and anxiety is present in higher students' everyday life and it raises different kind of questions which they are wondering. 
These questions concerning students' future career can be categorized into three main themes, which are first, professional identity, and they are questions about students' own professional identi identity and the identity construction during studies, questions about personal learning experiences during studies. So our students in lecture halls and seminar rooms, they might think, who am I? What am I doing here? What kind of interests I actually have? What kind of strengths and weaknesses? Where am I going to? Where I am good at? Or am I good at anything? Did I choose right major for myself? Or right study field degree program? Is this suitable for myself? Is this important and meaningful choice for me? The next theme is qualification and competencies, and it's about the education. The competencies and qualification gained through studies. So our students are thinking, what kind of things I I'm learning here at the university. Do I learn anything useful? What kind of skills I get? Is this relevant knowledge for my future? Can I use it? And where can I use this knowledge or skills? And finally, there are questions about the future labor market opportunities like employability issues, possible future career, occupational options, recruiting processes, and employers' expectations. So our students are thinking before graduation, do I ever get a job if I become unemployed or working at a supermarket after graduation? Or how do I actually apply a job? Where can I find employment? What kind of opportunities I have? So these questions have connection to the working life and career, but they are relevant concerns for building up a meaningful, personally motivated study path. And our students, they are thinking these kind of questions almost every day. Researchers have also paid attention that students do not necessarily ask help for their worries or concerns. This might be new to the, due to the challenge that sometimes when we are concerned about something, we don't exactly know it by ourselves. We can't characterize it or describe it. So if we as teachers want to take a proactive view to the students' study and career concerns during study part. It is useful to look at the experiences which promote the progress of studies. In this figure, we represent the results of na National Eurostudent 6 data analysis about issues connected to the progress of the study part. These issues characterize students' individual study skills, orientation, attitudes, motivation, but also experience of the learning and study environment and the wider orientation to the future after graduation. Our study shows that students who have good study skills and are motivated 
These kind of students feel that their studies are going on as they hope, as they hope and they have planned. Interesting is that the same factors can slow down but also progress the studies according to the individual experience. Study environment makes difference too. Students who have a feeling that their teachers are interested in their learning processes and have a good attitude towards students think that their studies are going well. And finally, those students who have positive future and working life prospects. These students think more often that their studies are going on as fluently as they have planned. From these results, we can make a conclusion that there are several questions concerning attitudes, skills, motivation, orientation, but also social and cultural background of the individual student, which might grow up challenges for successful studies and create needs for support, guidance and counselling. We can also conclude that being a member of community plays a significant role in the experience of meaningful studies. There are needs that teachers respect and value students as members of academic community, that every individual student is seen and noticed as a community member. There are needs which are actually basic needs for a human being. They play important role for successful studies from the early experience of the first year students to the process of graduate thesis and the professional identity when graduates leave the university for working life careers. Thus, these needs are worth of paying attention to if we want to give our students the best experience to making most of their life, education and career.